In this video, I'll teach you how we can do this 3D slider component without doing any code. So stick to the end so we'll learn how we can actually do these kind of motions inside Framer. And by the way, Remix link is in the description. Let's go. Okay, I have these uh, three images here. I've placed them over each other and we need to create a frame for them. Basically, I'm just going to click to add frame and then let's create a component of that frame and we name it as 3D slider. And here, um, basically we need to wrap it up again inside a frame. Okay, so, and why is that? Is because um, basically we need to create a 3D space here and, and we need a container for that. So I'm just going to container, name it as container. And then uh, let's set the overflow to visible. And then um, we have to go to the transform and set the perspective, rotation and preserve 3D. Obviously, you know that what is rotation. So the perspective means that it basically creates the 3D space here. And, and, and if you tweak the number, it's going to set the distance between Z plane and the camera or, or the object actually. So we have a limitation here between uh, 500 and 5000 actually. If the number is closer to 500, you're going to get a more 3D look actually. In, in, this perspective handle intensifies the 3D look of your object. Okay, so let me just uh, basically switch the rotation to 3D and set the X axis to minus 22. And here we need to set the perspective to 1000. All right. Yep. Okay, so basically, we have this 3D look right now and what we need to do is actually uh, we need to set the preserve to yes and this means that the children is going to be affected by the main container I mean the children's also going to be 3D okay so here we need to just uh, this is this is our front image let me just rename it front middle and back all right so we need to just um add depth for each of the images by the way depth means uh basically the distance from front to back of a 3d figure all right we're going to just set the depth of the let me just zoom in set the depth of the middle image to somewhere around here in the back image needs to go somewhere around here all right all right yeah that's it so we have this perfect 3d look of these images so right now let's create another variant for the second slide actually we need to let me just bring it here we need to set the front image set the depth of the front image to um, somewhere around 700 so that we can see the second slide or 600 yeah 600 okay now let's create another variant for the third slide and let's also um, set the depth of the first image to somewhere around 900 so that we can't see it and then the middle image should be set to basically 600 or maybe 550 perfect okay so that we can see the third slide as well okay we have this 
perfect 3D look. And now let's go to the um, let's go to the canvas and then add this 3D slider to it. Add a stack to that 3D slider, and then let's set it to viewport. And right now we need to set the position to be sticky because we want to. We want the 3D slider to, to be sticky and then as we scroll, uh, it changes the slides, okay? So, for that, we need to set a um, scroll effect, scroll variant effect to the 3D slider component and we need some kind of fake frames to trigger and yeah, let's create those fake frames here. We need to actually trigger the the scroll based of the viewport of these of these frames, fake frames. I mean, this is a common trick people use to uh, create stunning scroll animations. So yeah, let's place it here. Let me just basically put it inside the desktop and let's set the height of the desktop to fit. Perfect. Okay. Let me just basically duplicate it and we, we, we have three slides and we need three fake frames. Let's just uh, set the fill color to the background as, as the background, I mean black. And right now uh, we need to name all of these frames that we created. Basically this one is going to be, let's add a scroll section and let's name it to one. Let's name it, let, let's name this one to two and third one, obviously three. Perfect. Okay. Let's go back to the 3D slider. And uh, here we have to address the frames to be considered in the scroll section. I mean, uh, we have to set the trigger to section in view and let's set the viewport to the center of those frames and then we can here select the first frame i mean this one this one right here this is the this is the first frame and this is the second frame and this one is the third frame all right so we need to set the section to one and variant run so basically we say that if the viewport if the scroll is at the center of that first frame change the 3d slider to variant one or here if we add a section basically we're going to say that if the scroll was on the second frame we have to set the variant of the 3d slider to two okay and basically three should be three perfect okay let me just quickly run the template i want to just test it to see that everything works perfect all right we have this beautiful 3d slider now and yep as i said as i showed you you can do a lot of things for example i have done this I'm basically, this is a kind of like WIP work in progress template. Um, let me just run it for you again, I think, yeah. So you can create stunning effects, stunning hero sections, and yeah. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time, peace.